G35 from Vader Body Kits. Finally, an amazing European supercar without the supercar price. And you can build this one at home. The Vader G35 begins with an Infiniti G35 Coupe as the donor car. Next comes the Vader 35 kit, available for about $11,000. The kit comes with everything you need to transform the vehicle into an exotic fantasy car, including all the fiberglass body components, scissor doors, window glass, lights, and more. A complete interior conversion wrapped in leather and suede, in your color of choice, is an additional offered option. Aside from some modifications to the roofline, installing the Vader 35 kit is relatively straightforward with no changes to the wiring or mechanical components. In fact, Vader claims you can leave the car running with the air conditioning on during the build. The Infiniti G35 Coupe combined with the Vader kit makes the Vader G35 an icon of style and elegance. Polish automaker Arnera gets its name from two words meaning truly streamlined. Its breathtaking supercar, the 211 mile per hour Husaria 33, embodies this philosophy. Its body was designed through aerodynamic testing for better handling. The Husaria 33 is described by Arnera as a dream come true, exciting both at high speeds and everyday driving. The Husaria 33 has several futuristic elements, including a push-button controlled active spoiler acting as an air brake at high speeds. It's also the first car to incorporate graphene, a newly discovered lightweight material 200 times stronger than steel. This beast of a supercar is priced at close to $220,000. Only 33 of the Husaria 33s will be produced in the first year. The 800 horsepower 8.2 liter V8 engine provides the Husaria's aerodynamic body with tremendous acceleration, moving this supercar from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.2 seconds and the quarter mile in just 11 seconds. Now those are some truly impressive numbers, with a top speed of 211 miles an hour which places the Husaria 33 among some of the fastest street legal sports cars known today. DC Design began developing its first production vehicle in 2010, and now it's here. The DC Avanti, India's first sports car based on the Studebaker Avanti, a legendary 1960s luxury coupe. The Avanti's body style looks similar to that of a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. The uniquely shaped front grille, intimidating tapering hood, and large headlamps give the Avanti a menacing frontal view. The rear view is equally as impressive, highlighted by the V-shaped taillights and an armor-shaped hood. The Avanti's interior is generous roomy, but unlike the stunning body style, the cockpit, steering wheel, and instrumentation are far more of a basic design, and almost a throwback to sports cars of decades past. Though everything about the Avante's wicked exterior gives the impression of speed and performance, it's actually a bit modest in its category. Its turbocharged 2-liter Renault sports engine only produces about 250 horsepower, which means it needs 7.5 seconds to get from 0 to 60 miles an hour. Still, with prices starting at around $64,000, the DC Avanti is one beautiful machine. It may be hard to describe your first look at the Tramontana because you'll probably be struck absolutely speechless. This dominating creation from Spanish company AD Tramontana gets its name from the Spanish Northern Wind, and with its Formula One profile and 202 mile an hour rating, the name definitely fits. The first Tramontana versions were open topped, but a closed top version, the Tramontana R, is now available in either single or double in tandem seating. Designed to perform as a combination of Formula One race car and fighter jet, each Tramontana is made to order and custom designed for the individual driver, coming in at a mind-bending cost of around $800,000. The Tramontana is powered by a mid-mounted twin-turbo Mercedes-Benz 5.5-liter V12 engine with dual selectable settings of 550 or 720 horsepower. The A4 stage traction system is also available 
available for varying road conditions, though it's easy to imagine the AD Tramontana as an exotic spacecraft, its real-world status as a mind-blowing supercar is unquestionable. So if you thought Detroit was dead as the center of automobile manufacturing, think again. Introducing the Falcon F7, a true American supercar. Three years in development, the Falcon F7 was designed and built in Detroit by engineer Jeff Lemke and Falcon Motorsports. This stunning, finely crafted, high-end sports car puts Detroit and America back on the supercar map. The F7's wedge-shaped profile is reminiscent of sports cars from the 70s and 80s, but the Lamborghini-style nose, the Ford GT type hood, and the Ferrari Berlinetta-inspired rear gives the F7 a modern appeal. The powertrain is borrowed from the Corvette Z06 in the 1100-horsepower twin-turbo V8 engine mounted behind the seats, rockets the Falcon F7 to speeds in excess of 200 miles an hour, accelerating from 0 to 60 in just 2.7. Seven seconds. The handcrafted leather interior, the jet light cockpit, and the high performance adjustable back racing style seats help make the $225,000 Falcon F7 a supercar. Superlight SLC from Superlight Cars makes that possible. Beautifully sleek and made for speed, the SLC is one of the easiest and least expensive supercars to build. Coming in at $44,000, the SLC includes virtually everything except the drivetrain and the tires. This do-it-yourselfer even includes the interior. Suggested engine types include the Chevy LS V8 or a twin-turbo Lexus V8, but the design can accommodate most drivetrains. The Superlight uses only new parts machined at the factory, and the fiberglass body parts, well, they come covered in a gel coat polymer that can be prepped for painting or buffed into a shine. Not ready to take this on yourself? Well, maybe a specialized mechanic might be the answer. Master Builder Zakari 3030, found on YouTube, has created lots of SLCs with a variety of customizable options. If you think you're ready to build your own awesome Superlight SLC, grab a standard set of tools and give it your best shot. Go ahead and create your own masterpiece and step into Supercar... company Sin Car's racing version of the Sin R1 made such an impression that the demand for the street version became deafening. Now with collaborating partner Performance Metals, Sin Cars has introduced the Sin R1 sports car. Priced at around $110,000, it's impressive yet subtle. The R1's carbon fiber body looks like it's ready to take flight. Unlike many of today's supercars with luxurious and lavish interiors, the R1 street version stays true to the spirit of its race car cousin. With a racing steering wheel, FIA roll cage, and real racing seats complete with harnesses, the R1's interior is geared for those who crave the feel of raw competition. Yet the R1 just doesn't talk performance, it really delivers. Its GM Source 6.2 liter 525 horsepower LS3 V8 engine and Porsche 6 speed manual transmission push the R1 to blazing speeds, coming in at 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 3.5 seconds and a top speed of 170 miles an hour. The Sin R1 leaves little doubt as to its supercar status.